<clears throat> just doing an example today using the Selmer Para C flat D uh, GoPro Spell. A lot of brass playing is illusions, uh, is illusional, um, a bit like painters scuffing a ceiling. It looks freshly painted, but they've saved a gallon of paint. Uh, maybe not a good metaphor, but um, if you've got a grace note, for example, you might have a 50% chance of pitching it really nicely um, if you do it exactly as written, whereas you've got a bit of license as a brass player. Therefore, you can spend a little more time on the first grace note. Or Revali, for example, if you're playing Revali, if you come right in in the quaver, ba bum ba bum there's a good chance you'll split the, uh, especially if your lips are cold, the first note. So you can take time in the first note, and the audience will hear the correct thing, because it will fit in, and the orchestra will follow you, or the uh, the pianist will follow you. And here's, here's an example of the... End of the last movement of the, the Hummel. So that can be played. And then you're more guaranteed to get the first note. But the ear picks up the same thing. So going on. section I dropped three which is bad and that would drop you out a place in an addition you wouldn't get it for that but hey it's live music Again, I dropped one, um, but that's live music, as I was saying. Anyway, I didn't mean to go on and play the end of the Hummel. All I'm trying to say is you can use your musicality and your technical license to save yourself splits all over the place. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.